Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's about time that I did a redo of my top 10 list. It's been over a year and a half since I ran down my top 10 mechanical pencils. And what I'm going to do today is a little bit different than the first list that I did in that I'm different than the first list that I did. I've been collecting mechanical pencils now for a couple of years and when my, my top 10 list has changed in my eyes continuously as I've purchased and tried out new mechanical pencils because I'm looking for mechanical pencils that really speak to me and that I feel comfortable writing with and in many cases enjoy writing with. And so over time as I use mechanical pencils more and more, especially in my professional work, my opinions change. And probably the biggest difference between this top 10 list and the first one that I posted to YouTube is that I'm going to be removing some pencils that are great pencils in of themselves, but for me, in terms of my work and in terms of what I use on a regular basis, I don't use them as often as I have in the past. And what I'm going to be doing is adding some pencils to my top 10 here that may not have the most interesting features or, or may not be the best example of a particular uh, ser uh, series of features or uh, writing experience or quality that I've talked about on the channel before, but I find myself using frequently because I just are really comfortable in my hand. And so I'll be replacing some of those old top 10 list pencils with some uh, newer ones. And in many cases, it's just a flip-flop of things that have been on my honorable mentions list for quite some time that I really feel like deserve a place in the top 10. And uh, moving those top 10 pencils down to the honorable mentions list because they are still great pencils, but I just don't see myself using them as often. So let's dive right in. What are my top 10 mechanical pencils as of February 2017? I'm going to start off with one of my most recent acquisitions that has really impressed me. And that is the Zebra Delgard Type ER. Okay, this is one of the newest versions of the Delgard mechanism that it has been created by uh, Zebra. And what sets the Zebra Delgard Type ER apart from other Delgard pencils is a couple of things. First off, it has a thicker, smooth rubber grip, which generally I don't like smooth rubber grips, but for some reason the Delgard Type ER really. Uh, impress me with the grip. It has the Delgard system, meaning that it's very difficult to break the lead with a Zebra Delgard pencil because it is cushioned in two ways. That does mean that the pencil's a little bit spongy, uh, but I think that I can get past that given the other features. And this Type ER version of the Zebra Delgard has an eraser that when you turn the pencil, the eraser extends, and when you turn it back up when you're writing, the eraser extra uh the eraser retracts back into the body of the pencil. And so it's just a really interesting, unique mechanism. And so I'm gonna place that Zebra Delgard Type ER at my t number 10 spot in my top 10. Next, well, let's get fancy. Some of you who collect writing utensils might recognize this packaging. This is the packaging for Retro 51s products, and you can see that this one has the Farney's Pens logo on the top. This is a Signers of the Declaration of Independence limited edition of the Retro 51 Tornado, and this is the pencil version of it. And so basically what we have here is acid etched all along the barrel. We have the, let's make sure I can get the focus right, we have the Signers of the Declaration of Independence, and it is this classic twist mechanism that the, the Retro 51 Tornado pencils have. And so coming in at number nine, Retro 51 Tornado pencil. It just feels really great in the hand. It's a classy writing instrument, has a decent size eraser for a pencil of this type. And it's, I would consider a, a collector's item. It's, it's something that you would show off to your friends that if, if, you want to catch heads in the room, pull out a Retro 51 product. And I also want to point out that I don't just have Retro 51 pencils. I also have Retro 51 ballpoint pens. This is the Project Apollo version of it, which I picked up. This is a release from this year. And so the Project Apollo version of the ballpoint pen has artist rendition of the landing. And you can see that we have the command module up in orbit. 
And we're saluting on the surface of the moon with the American flag. I replace most of my pen products with space pen refills, and my Retro 51 Tornado has a Fisher space pen refill ballpoint. And so this is Retro 51 Tornado pen with a Fisher space pen refill. I believe this comes as a roller ball, but you can retrofit it, I guess pun intended, as a ballpoint. So number nine, Retro 51 Tornado, really classy pencil, but also feels great in the hand. And if you need to do some extended writing, mark something very clearly because of the thicker lead side, Retro 51 Tornado pencil is your thing. What about at number eight? What do we have? Well, there's actually two pencils that fit my number eight. They're just alternate company names for the same model. And that is the Stettler Integrity. But the two versions that I have are Platinum zero shin mechanical pencils. These are double clutch mechanism mechanical pencils. It holds it near the bottom and holds it uh, inside with the clutch. It's got a very comfort, comfortable rubberized grip with uh, grippy pieces along it. It has an extendable eraser. If I can go the right way. Extendable eraser. And you know, it's a moderately priced pencil, really strong pocket clip, but I find myself using these pencils frequently. I have two right now. I have it in red and blue in the Platinum Zero Shin, but I'm also thinking about uh, picking up some new old stock of uh, the Stettler Integrities in black to sort of round up my collection on this. But I find myself using Stettler Integrities frequently because it's just a solid pencil, does everything that you want it to, you can clip it to your pocket, it's got a wonderful extendable eraser, uh, really solid writer, and so that's going to come in at my number eight. Number seven. My number seven is actually my favorite pencil to use. But given that it has a limited set of features, I put it a little farther down on the list. And it is the Pentel Sharp series. Uh, some viewers have pointed out that they think that I'm cuckoo bananas for having the Pentel Sharp on my top 10. Uh, given that there are a lot of more full-featured pencils out there. This is my uh, solid gold um, uh, limited edition uh, 50th anniversary Pentel P205. And I'm not going to apologize to the detractors because, folks, this is my list. And you can feel free to rank any of these pencils completely as you would see fit according to your personal preferences. The, the goal of this video is not to make a definitive list. The goal of this video is to make my list and to encourage people to check out some pencils that I really think are really fine writing instruments and that I use frequently. And so uh, the Sharp P200 series, this is my most collected pencil I think I'm sitting at about 26 different Pentel Sharp pencils. I've just ordered some custom Sharp style pencils from a gentleman in Ohio, and so I'll be featuring that on the channel shortly. But Pentel Sharp P200 series is pretty much the epitome of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It was one of the first pushtop ratchet mechanical pencils, if not the first pushtop uh, ratchet mechanical pencils invented. It's elegance in design. There's nothing wrong with it, so there's nothing that you need to change about it. It's lightweight. Uh, there's virtually zero hand fatigue from using this thing. Strong pocket clip, decent eraser, and of course it has that sharp lead sleeve, the four millimeter lead sleeve at the end. Great for a whole bunch of applications, engineering, drafting, uh, architecture, and so it's just a solid, solid pencil. And to some extent, I mean that quite literally. I sort of feel like you could hit it with a bomb and it would survive. Um, probably not, but, but you know, I, I just have so much respect for the solidness of the manufacturer. And so Pentel Sharp P200 series comes in at number seven. Number six, another pencil from Pentel. I have three of them. My hope is to obtain at least one more. This is the Pentel Sharp Carry. And so I have it in the olive green model, and uh, which is 0.5 millimeter. I have it in uh, red, which is 0.5 millimeter, and I have it in navy blue, which is 
seven millimeter. And I'd also like to get my hands on the limited edition orange Pentel Sharp Carry, which is a little harder to find. I mean, you can find it. It's just a question of whether you want to pay $35 for it, for example. Uh, so the Pentel Sharp Carry has been around since 1971. It's very elegant looking pencils for still a reasonable price. It has a built-in eraser. It has the closed cap design so that when you're done with it, you don't have to worry about pocket safety at all. You close it up just like you would a ballpoint pen or a fountain pen, and you're ready to go. And so Pentel Sharp Carry, really elegant design, wonderful pencil, comes in at number six. How about number five? Well, this is a, manu this is a pencil manufactured in Taiwan. Coming in at number five, we have the Twisby precision mechanical pencil okay and in this case i have the extendable lead sleeve version the retractable version it comes in a retra retractable version it comes in a fixed lead sleeve it comes in silver and black uh, it's just a really solid pencil and i mean solid i mean this thing it's weighty but it's not too weighty uh, the mechanism squeaks a little bit, and the knurling on the grip is not as sharp as I would prefer, but it comes with a lot of kit. It comes with multiple erasers. The Twisby Precision also comes with a very lengthy eraser for a pencil of this type. You can see that's a huge eraser, so you have a lot of erasing capability. If you, if you need to do that on the fly, this would be a great pencil to take with you if you're on a trip, because so long as you hang on to it, you know that it's, it's going to um, sit on it isn't going to break it break it so long as the the tip is retracted and so it's something that is going to last for a very very long time and so uh number five on the list twisby precision really great pencil really strong pencil this is one of the newer pencils just came out a couple years ago and it's definitely worth checking out especially for the price you're looking at 25 dollars usd and that's a really reasonable price for a pencil of this quality so check out the twisby precision Number four, one of the newer Rote Rings that has come out, the Rote Ring Rapid Pro. Once again, comes in black and silver, and you can see that it comes with that classic red ring that is so famous, uh, that Rote Ring is so famous for, because of course, Rote Ring in German means red ring. And this is the newer sliding retractable sleeve Rote Ring pencil that has uh, come out. It has the classic Rote Ring knurling, although I think that this knurling is a little less sharp than the uh, knurling that comes in other Rote Ring pencils. I could be wrong about that. Um, the sliding sleeve is spring-loaded. I don't have any problems with breakage on the Rote Ring Rapid Pro. Uh, really solid pocket clip. Uh, my only uh, downsides for the Rote Ring Rapid Pro is that it's a tad on the heavy side. And uh, if you're a hard presser like I am, the lead sleeve can have a tendency to move a little bit while you're pressing with it. But it's a really fine writing instrument. And if you're not going to be writing for long periods of time, the Rote Ring Rapid Pro is pocket safe. It catches the eye. It's really fun to use. And so Rote Ring Rapid Pro, one of the newer designs in the Rote Ring family of mechanical pencils, check that out. My number three is actually a tie. And this is going to be surprising, I think, to a lot of people. This is going to bring 11 pencils into my top 10. And folks, this isn't the channel for you if you're a stickler on top 10 meaning 10, because uh, I just find it uh, difficult to choose between these two pencils, and I want to put both of them in my top three spot, and I'm not going to bother with bumping something off the list that I really like just because, you know, a top 10 list is supposed to be a top 10 list. Can we have a little fun with it, please? Okay, thanks. And so my two tied pencils for number three are going to be the Rote Ring 800 and the Retro 51 Hex Omatic. Both sharp knurled uh, drafting style pencils. These are both retractable. And in the case of the Rote Ring 100, you twist the knob near the top of the pencil and the lead sleeve comes out. I have mine in 0.7 millimeters because one of the uh, downsides of the Rote Ring 800 is that with finer lead sizes, you can tend to get uh, some breakage, and people have found that the 0.7 millimeter Rote Ring 800 is less prone to breakage than others. But I do get some breakage on the Rote Ring 800. I do go through more lead in this pencil than I do with another pencil, but gosh, do I love using it while I'm using it. 
And so the Rote Ring 800, of course, it comes in a Rote Ring 800 Plus. The only difference, I think, being that there's a stylus at the end uh, instead of an eraser. There's a standard drafting eraser here at the end, and it comes in black and silver. And then the Retro 51 Hexamatic is a retractable sleeve, and it's a, as far as I can tell, it is a sliding sleeve as well, which is a big surprise. So Retro 51 Hexamatic. If this is so amazing, why is it tied with the Rote Ring 800? Well, it's a great pencil. The big problem that I've had with this one is that uh, the clutch does seem uh, uh, prone to dusting problems. And so I use uh, softer leads in the Retro 51 Hexamatic so that I can make sure that I get a really good grip on the lead. Uh, under some cases, I've found that the lead can slip back up in the barrel. But in that case, you just give it a good clean and it usually fixes it. Both of these pencils are solid pencils. Um, they're basically never going to break uh, through regular use, and so long as the tips are retracted, you're, you're never going to, to break the tip at all unless you're purposely trying to. Strong pocket clips, joy to use, similar knurling on both of them, and so I just find it difficult to decide for my number three spot between the Rote Ring 800 and the Retro 51 Hexomatic. Uh, pick either of those up and you won't be disappointed. The uh, Rote Ring 800 has recently fallen in price on Amazon. You can get a Rote Ring 800 for less than $35, I think, on Amazon, which the original MSRP of the Rote Ring 800 was, I think, uh, Seven seventy or seventy five dollars, and so they've really come down in price. And so I'm thinking that they might have it might have been a little bit difficult to move them, and so they've lowered the price on Amazon. So if you're going to get into a Rote Ring 800, now is the time. It seems like they're cheaper than than they've ever been. Uh, my next entry is something that I normally wouldn't do because this is going to be something that's going to be harder for people to find. My next entry is the Rote Ring 600 Newton, which this pencil came out in the early 90s and ran into the early 2000s. You can see that it's different from most Rote Rings and that it has a smooth metal grip instead of a knurled grip. You can also see that it is a retractable 600, and it's a double knock mechanism. You knock once and it extends, and then you knock halfway and you can get the lead to extend. This is the rote ring, the wonderful rote ring mechanism inside of it. And then if you mash down hard, the mechanism retracts. And so this is a truly pocket safe rote ring 600, granted the difference being the knurling and the conical style of the lead sleeve. So this is designed for writing, not for draft. And so if that's an issue for you, keep that in mind. But when I picked this up a couple months ago, I fell in love with it. Uh, if, if it had a knurled grip, it would be my number one because I prefer that knurled grip because it allows me to hang on to the pencil and have total control over it. But other than that, it's basically the wonderful weighting of a Rote Ring 600 pencil uh, with that retractable mechanism. And so if you can obtain one, if you can find one on uh, Fountain Pen Network or uh, on eBay, Rote Ring 600 Newton is wonderful. And they, you know, they also make a Rote Ring 600 Newton in a lava version, which is also a coveted writing instrument uh, from the 90s and 2000s for anyone who's interested. If you're interested in the history of writing utensils, that could be something to look for. And here we are finally at my number one. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, let's just dive right into it. The Rote Ring 600 is my top mechanical pencil. It has a wonderfully solid mechanism. It has a wonderfully solid body. The grip is wonderful. The weight is wonderful. When I'm writing with this, I say to myself, this is what a mechanical pencil should be. It's just a really solid writing experience. It screams precision. Comes in black and silver, comes in 0.3 and 0.5 and 0.7 millimeter varieties. If you're looking for one mechanical pencil to last you for the rest of your life, so long as you're okay with the fact that it isn't pocket safe, I would recommend the Rote Ring 600 in terms of the moderate or more expensive variants of mechanical pencils. And let's be honest, there's so much on this list that is great. Okay, the Rote Ring 600, wonderful pencil. If you can obtain a Rote Ring 600 Newton, please do check it out. You know, I just find it really difficult to decide between the Rote Ring 800 and the Retro 51 Hexamatic. Uh, both wonderful pencils, both pocket safe. 
Also pocket safe, the Rote Ring Rapid Pro is the newest um, uh, model from uh, Rote Ring since they've been purchased by Sanford. And so if you're looking for a sliding sleeve, retractable sleeve mechanical pencil, the Rote Ring Rapid Pro, uh, if you don't mind the weight, is a great thing. For a little bit cheaper, you can get a Twisby Precision, although honestly, you could also get a Rote Ring 600 for a little less than the price of a Twisby Precision. So it's like, what do you like? Do you need it to be retractable? Uh, do, do you want it to, uh, the feel to be a certain feel? You can see the Twisby Precision has more of a glossy surface versus the Rote Ring 600, which is a little bit more of a matte surface. Do you want something that looks elegant and is pocket safe and has that classic Pentel mechanism? Well, then the Pentel Sharp Carry is your pencil. Do you want something that is elegant in design and simple and you don't need anything more complex than this? Then the Pentel P200 series is your pencil. It's not fancy. They run anywhere from five to fifteen dollars. You can get um, you can get them at Target for five bucks in the Pastel series. But uh, that this is a pencil that, that many people swear by in their day-to-day -day work. Maybe you want something that has a little bit more features. And the Stettler Integrity or Platinum G Zero Shin is your pencil because you need that extendable eraser. But you also want it to be a quality pencil. Maybe you want to get fancy and you want the Retro 51 Tornado comes in a wide variety of different styles. It has a thicker lead size. It has that uh, classic screw mechanism that so many uh, old-time mechanical pencils are known for. Or maybe you want something that is a little bit um, more modern and uh, has a unique mechanism feature in the Zebra Delgar Type ER, but you also want that eraser. And so this is a little bit different than my former top 10 for two reasons. One, the Lamy 2000 a fine pencil, move this out of the way, a very fine pencil. I actually received this from a gentleman through the mail and I really appreciate uh, him uh, sending it on to me. It's a great pencil. I don't see myself using it too often, honestly, because it's almost jammed once. It's an expensive pencil. Um, and uh, so uh, um, I, I want it to be a preserved working part of my collection. Uh, but I don't see my I don't see myself using it very often. I don't use it very often, and so the Lamy 2000 was at my number seven. I'm dropping it down to my honorable mentions list, and it's going to replace the Stettler Integrity um, and Platinum Zero Shin on the honorable mentions list, which I had. Um, I move the, that pencil up to number eight. So I'm essentially swapping a top 10 pencil with an honorable mention pencil from my list. And then another big change is that I'm taking the Platinum Pro Use. You can see that I have a lot of drafting pencils on this list. And the Platinum Pro Use 1 is a very fine pencil. It's solid. It's just a great overall drafting pencil, very cool feeling in the hand, and I mean literally cool because it's aluminum, and of course uh, aluminum has a, a, a very different heat absorbance uh, compared to steel, and so it feels cool in your hand. Well, the Platinum Pro Use 1 is going to go back on the honorable mentions list, and I'm going to go ahead and take the Stettler 92525OX off of the honorable mentions list, and this is where I'm sure some of you in the audience are spitting your coffee into the screen or breaking breaking your monitor, because I know that many of you out there are Stettler 925 fans, and that's nothing against the Stettler 92525. It's a fine pencil. I happen to per prefer the Platinum Pro Use 1 as drafting pencils go, but if you're looking for a solid construct and drafting pencil, the Stettler 92525OX uh, could be a great addition for you as well. And so folks, thanks for watching. This is the new version of my top 10 list as of February 2017. I love mechanical pencils. I love making videos about them. We have some cool thing. I have some cool things I should say coming up on the channel, such as a piece of mechanical uh, pencil history, the wall ever sharp. And so uh, stay tuned for that. I'm also thinking about taking a trip to Fairfield, Iowa to go to the retail store for Tokyo Pen Shop. I'm in the process of uh, working on my travel plans for that because there are a lot of pencils that, you know, if you can't try them online, sometimes trying them in person is, is the only way that you can make decisions. And uh, it's just a short drive from, from Omaha, and so I'm thinking about doing that. And if I do end up doing that and can make some videos, I'll post them here on the channel. And then I have a couple of uh, custom uh, Pentel Sharp-like pencils that are using uh, most of the uh, components of the Pentel Sharp, but replacing 
the body with hardwoods from a gentleman uh, from a company called Turn of the Century in Ohio, suggested by a watcher of the channel. And so lots to look forward to. And so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 list of my top 10 mechanical pencils. And stay tuned to more on the channel. Have a great day.